Hello, and uh, due to this virus, we're going to do these uh, online classes now. And uh, for this chapter of financial management, we're going to talk about the sources of cash flow data for calculations of net present value, NPV, and internal rate of return, IRR. Generally, you might know that this is the formula for NPV. We basically sum up all the cash flows, positive as well as negative, over the life of the project having first discounted them to their present value. We, for example, here divide the cash flow we get during the first year by one plus the required rate of return. And uh, the cash flow we get during the second year is divided by one plus that required rate of return into the power of two. So we discount all the future cash flows and add them up together. The topic for today though is how do we calculate these cash flows from pro forma financial statements. Basically, same as financial statements, except for these are just generally expectations for the future. So let's say we have data like this. You're looking at a potential project which might last for three years. Say from the pro forma balance sheet, you expect the equipment cost to be $90,000, which will depreciate straight line to um, zero over these three years. Let's say you'll need the networking capital of $20,000 to operate the company each year and let's say you estimate to sell 50,000 units of whatever you are selling for the price of four dollars probably the material costs cost of goods sold is let's say going to be two and a half dollars some other costs fixed costs twelve thousand dollars tax rate is 34 percent and the required rate of return for a project of this level of risks is say 20 percent we need to find these cash flows for calculation of npv which in turn might tell us whether this project is a good idea or not. For the total cash flows, we're looking at cash flows from assets, which is operating cash flow minus whatever we spend on capital spending, that's net capital spending, minus the changes, the increases in networking capital. Where operating cash flow is earnings before interest and tax plus depreciation minus tax. So I look at it as three sources of cash flows. Operations with the short-term capital or the working capital. Operations with the longer-term capital, our capital spending. And the cash flow from the business operations itself, operating cash flow. This is going to be our timeline for the project three years starting from today, time zero. Our net capital spending at the beginning of the project is going to be 90000 And let's assume no more sales or purchases of any equipment after that. For changes in networking capital, at the beginning we need to put 20,000 of networking capital into this project and once the project finishes, since there is no depreciation applicable to this working capital, we withdraw that capital from the project that is completed, giving us negative changes to the networking capital. And lastly, operating cash flow for that, we've got to look at the income statement. We're going to have these items in our income statement for this example. Sales in the first year are of course going to be 50,000 of units that we expect to sell times the price. Cost of goods sold is that 50,000 units times cost per unit. Fixed costs are given here and depreciation is one third of the initial equipment costs because the equipment is depreciated completely in three years. EBIT is sales minus all of these costs. We don't assume any interest expense here, so I'll put zero. Earnings before tax is EBIT minus the interest expense. Tax payment is of course 34% of the EBT and the difference between EBT and tax payment is net income. For our cash flow, we take EBIT, add depreciation and subtract the tax payment. I'll just copy these numbers for the rest of the years and we'll get our cash flow from assets as operating cash flow minus net capital spending minus changes in networking capital. So to start the business we need 110,000 at the beginning, which will in future generate some positive cash flow. Now that we have these cash flows, we can calculate our NPV and IRR to make a decision about this project. We have the required rate of return and the cash flows. Positive NPV says the project is a good idea. And that's our first subtopic for this chapter. Stay healthy, have a nice day and see you in the next video.